Hello, my name is Christian and I'm illustrator from Latvia, currently living in the UK. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why I'm like holding anyways. This will be another talky video. What I realized myself is when I go to YouTube, I sometimes just I'm just listening to their voice while I'm drawing myself or doing like some kind of different things like cooking for example. Someone is keeping company with me, so I thought I will do Sometimes the talky videos and sometimes videos about art supplies. So if you are uh, cooking or if you are hoovering your house or if you are drawing, continue doing it because I will mostly just talk and then I will have maybe something on the background. I'm, I've been filming myself in the past couple of days just making pins and uh, earrings. So that will be hopefully my background and I will do like a voiceover or something. So before I jump straight into this, I want to say that this is my personal opinion about planning and you might have different schedule, working routine and opinion. So if you want, you can share your suggestions or how you plan your time in the comments below. And I hope this is somewhat helpful for you or I'm just good background to you, friend buddy here, having company. So I want to make this space calm, respectful and helpful. I know a lot of people are not really into planning things, but I do. And for me it is quite important to have deadlines. And if you watch my art story video here on YouTube, I talk a lot a lot about different universities I have studied and my path of finding what I want to do. So if you watch this, vi watch that video, you know that I have been studying for a long time. And the good thing about studying is that other people are giving you deadlines to you rather than you setting them yourself. So now it's kind of different because I just finished the studies and I, I'm starting to plan time myself so I can continue working and have goals that I wish to achieve. I have my planner calendar for each month. Each month I have days where I wrote my mini social media deadlines. So I always struggled with consistency and social media in general and I have been super shy and scared. I have always felt I would do one thing for a month and then just drop it. Because I wanted to go out of my comfort zones and see if I can be efficient, efficiently consistent if I have a plan. Looking back at it right now, I think uh, having a com community helps me to be more consistent. Having internet friends is so nice and I'm glad I have them and we can have time there together. Usually on Monday mornings or Sunday evenings, I write a big plan for next week and that next week written is like all the things I want to do, what I want to achieve from this week. But they are not written in specific details. They are not like written Monday from 10 to 11, take pictures from 11 to 11.30, eat food and etc. Et it's more like free, so I have somewhat creativity and joy even from planning things. And by free I mean mostly no time during the days. Except my mini social media deadlines, anything else is without any times. So I'm also trying to think realistically because not always everything goes to plan. And sometimes when I'm expecting something and if it doesn't happen, I feel quite bad. So to not be so hard on myself, I'm trying to think how could I do things but still enjoy them. And I have a secret weapon. <laughs> My secret weapon is planning a little bit less. And I feel good because if I have done everything I wanted to do, it's because I planned less and I can do another thing in the day if I have time rather than each day having so much plans that I cannot physically do them all. I want to tell a little bit how I plan my time. I will use this week as an example. 
And by this week, I mean, today is 17th of March, it's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. Wait, before I dig into details of this week, I want to share a little bit of context. I want to share a little bit of what has been going in my life. So for the past two and a half months, I have been on furlough and experiencing how it could be if I was working for myself. I started to work in a cafe almost as soon as I started studying my masters in children's book illustration. And I actually have been working and studying together for a long time, both in undergrad studies and postgraduate, usually doing something that is a little bit different than my studies. So when COVID happened, I went on furlough. In UK, this is third on f or fourth lockdown. So I don't know, we, ha we have been having so many lockdowns, but the cafe company kept me there, but I wasn't working past two and a half uh, months because we were on lockdown. I'm actually grateful for, for having this opportunity. Working from home during that time, I kind of tried to focus more on my future plans. And what I realized is I want to work from home. I really enjoy being my own boss and plan time and what I want to do in each day. So now company called me and I have my first working day this Sunday. For you, it's probably going to be tomorrow. I don't know. So this Sunday and even though I want to work from home, I can't right now. I can't afford it. I don't have a lot of earnings from what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to try to manage everything even more, which is both scary, overwhelming and exciting. I wrote like a weekly plan, keeping this in mind. I asked myself what I want to do before I entered the job again. So my plans for this week are doing my shop update on my Etsy store called Shopcrixis. Shop I, I actually I started my Etsy in the middle of January this year and I don't have a super busy shop right now as much as I would love to have it busy. For now, I'm setting my shop updates mostly for myself to plan things, to keep myself busy and be better at planning. I still want to be consistent. I still want to show what I can create and hopefully someone will find it interesting. For this week, I want to do another shop update before I got a job. So to sum up, my big plans are Etsy, YouTube, portfolio work, preparation for exhibition showcase and Bologna Children's Book Fair and uh, completing my website because I wanted to finish my website a month ago and I have been postponing it every week so I'm not like perfect with planning as you can see I'm still learning I still have lot, lots to learn so what I do I write these big things on my scrap paper but that's not it I found for me it is really good to tick the boxes <laughs> when the job is done but I cannot do it so quickly if I write like website or shop because it will take so much time to tick that box there are a bunch of mini tasks for one big task so instead of that I'm writing even smaller notes I, I have shop update this Friday on the March 19 and I write all the products that I want to have in this update. Then for each product I'm writing even smaller tasks like these fox pins which you are seeing I'm creating in the background. Uh, it's actually my small job so if I could count all the things I need to do for this pin to get published in Etsy that would be like this. I need to make them from clay, then I need to wait for two days to dry. Then I'm going to paint them and after painting I'm gonna wait three more days and varnish them in two to three layers and then put bar prints on the back. After creation 
I also need to take product pictures and edit them in Photoshop as well as put them on my Etsy store. So I'm writing each process, which pins I want to make and how to reach end goal. In this update I'm gonna put listings of fox pins, mini rainbows, also some earrings I used to create two to, to six years ago when I participated in a lot of different fairs. So this is kind of my idea what I wanted to list. I think when I tick this small box, it feels like, yes, <laughs> I have done something today. And I think it's so good to make the goals which are more reachable. And at the end of the day, it's good to look back at the day and see the progress, even the small one. I, I used to rock climb before and it was so good because when you do one uh, route, when you finish it, it's like, oh, you've done something in that day. So I feel the same about these small tasks. If I'm doing like, even I feel the small task could be anything, even like, I don't know, brush your teeth. It's small task as well. <laughs> it's just a little bit different than focusing on, on uh, career, but it's still a task. <laughs> so. So website, Etsy, portfolio, YouTube, competitions, if they're all too overwhelming to me, and believe me, sometimes they are, and sometimes they're different ta big tasks, just I'm checking which are the priorities. I'm also checking which jobs could be done during the daylight and which not. In the UK, there isn't much daylight in early spring. So when I take pictures or film video, I usually use daylight, so I don't like artificial light, at least for now, because I have like yellowish light and it would take so much time to change the light while editing video. So I'm usually doing these kind of things during the day daylight. And during the day, sometimes I also write mini plans, but I gradually change them in the same day. I'm uh, trying to not be so hard on myself. Sometimes there are some things which are super important on that specific time. So I'm trying to do it in early in that day rather than doing it in last moment. So sometimes I write if I have extra time. So if I do everything I have planned in that day, sometimes I write like extra things which I could do. And usually it's actually, <laughs> I write website for the last month and I think I'm postponing each day and this is so funny but I need to do the website because it's really important for me to to find publishers for me to send stuff to publishing companies or even to write to agents but it's just so exhausting to me so I'm trying like uh, to think how could I do it so I can have fun? <laughs> Sometimes I plan small things for the future. For example, I'm thinking about future of this channel and what I want to say. So for now I decided to do one week of more like a talking video, like for example this one. And next week more art supply focused because I love art supplies. I actually worked in art supply store for three years and maybe that's how I grow more interest about trying different mediums and experimenting. And I think I worked uh, three days a week and all I did was talking to customers about art supplies, touching art supplies, doing invoices with art supplies, sending art supplies, everything was art supplies related. And I spent a lot of money there as well. so. I want to express my love for art supplies in this channel. I am working on mixed media. I have a bunch of materials. I just love them and I want to share my art supplies. And I hope it's interesting to you. So to sum it up in a way, uh, I've been using this method of planning for a long time. And especially in these two and a half months. And I think I planned even more. There have been good and bad days. 
but overall I'm so happy for how much I can do if I plan on my own. Like I want to share that not everything is like diamonds and roses and everything is pretty. So in last uh, Sunday and Saturday I was still drawing and working and I think I didn't took any breaks. I didn't took time off. I didn't listen to myself and in this week yesterday it was Tuesday I felt so unmotivated and although I have some plans I kind of scratched that off everything I did I felt I was doing it wrong I was making hair rings and everything was wrong there like everything I touched was wrong so I kind of decided to take a rest of the day off I decided to listen to my inner voice, decided to listen to my actions and how I was feeling rather than just skipping that step. And I didn't continue anything. I was spending time outside doing grocery shopping and etc. I once again proved myself that it is really important to take breaks. And if you are working and working for a long time and not taking time off, you can burn out. So even though it's great to plan things and do creative things or whatever you are doing, it is also important to take breaks in between. So taking exercises, knitting, reading. I, I was actually started doing the evening thing last month or so. I was trying to spend last two or three hours without any computer or phone and just knitting a jumper. I'm knitting Icelandic jumper and listening to audiobook or reading a book or listening to movie or, <laughs> or knitting and listening to movie. And it kind of sets my mind like, it's break time, you deserve it. It's really good. Break is important, don't forget about it and stay calm and relax. Even though I'm doing a lot of things during the day, I'm still doing many breaks in between or if I'm doing one thing for a long time. In these breaks I'm making my favorite tea, which is Earl Grey by the way, <laughs> with cookies or hot chocolate with white cream like in a restaurant and I put my favorite music in the background. I also sometimes pat on my own shoulder and tell that it's alright, I can do this. And not every day is perfect, but we are humans and it's not like everything... <laughs> it's not like I will do everything today and I will have no breaks at all. No, it doesn't work like that. So we are all learning how to stay productive. And this is my story, how I do it. And there is no right or wrong. And. It can be completely different for you, but I hope you take care of yourself and I hope you are having breaks in between and I think it's really important to listen to your inner voice and see which methods works for you best. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and if you liked it please give a thumbs up and subscribe somewhere here or there because it helps me a lot like to see if you like this kind of content. I'm creating and have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I don't use earrings that often right now because when I'm inside I use headphones and on like when you put earrings underneath it's not comfortable. So this is a, like <laughs> going out. <laughs>